Dear members of the American College of Sports Medicine, dear colleagues, I'm delighted to present here this virtual 68th annual meeting of the American College of Sports Medicine. My colleagues, Associate Professor Petrov, Dr. Gateva, Professor Alexandrova and I conducted a study entitled Pre-Competitive Stress in Rhythmic Gymnasts assessed by using salivary alpha amylase, protein and potassium. Stress and adaptation are extremely important components of both sports training and competitions, and this is also true for sports such as rhythmic gymnastics. This sport requires gymnasts to show high physical efforts under great psychological pressure. Non-invasive biomarkers such as salivary alpha amylase function as helpful parameters of stress in acute and chronic stress studies. The aim of this study was to assess the pre-competitive stress in rhythmic gymnasts by using non-invasive biochemical methods in addition to anxiety questionnaires. The study included 10 rhythmic gymnasts with a mean age of 14.7 years who were group competitors at the Bulgarian Rhythmic Gymnastics Championships. Saliva was collected on three different occasions. As you can see from the slide, the gymnasts were instructed to place the swab under their tongue for two minutes and then to put the swab back into the salivate. The first saliva collection was at home nine days before the competition, which was used as baseline. The second collection was around 30 minutes before a training session that was done five days pre-competition. And lastly, around one hour before the beginning of the gymnastics routines at the competition. In addition, the gymnasts also filled in questionnaires to measure trait and state anxiety. The salivary alpha amylase activity and the concentration of salivary protein and salivary potassium were measured by using the kits described on the slide. Comparisons were made using one way and over with repeated measures. On the left side of the slide, you can see the individual results of the salivary alpha amylase activity in green at home before training and before the competition for each gymnast. That is followed by salivary protein in orange and salivary potassium in blue. The mean results for all gymnasts are presented in table one. The state anxiety score, presented in purple in the table, was significantly higher before the training session in contrast to the baseline, 36.9 versus 30.8, and it was also significantly higher before the competition versus the baseline, 40.1 versus 30.8. The salivary alpha amylase activity showed exactly the same significant differences. It increased progressively with its highest value before the competition. The mean salivary protein concentration also increased progressively, but the differences were not significant. The mean salivary potassium concentration was significantly higher before the competition versus the baseline values, 35.7 millimoles per liter versus 23.9 millimoles per liter. In conclusion, the results indicated that salivary alpha amylase activity and salivary potassium concentration were both in agreement with the anxiety scores, and therefore they can be used as practical non-invasive biomarkers of stress in sport. In order to establish a comprehensive assessment of stress in competitive sport, however, a combination of psychological, biochemical and physiological indicators should be applied. Thank you for listening and I hope to see you all next year in San Diego for the 69th annual meeting.